After a long wait, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to retarget BNO 055's estimated orientation detail to human rigid body or in metahuman of Unreal. It means sensor will be positioned on 3D characters model and on changing the orientation of the sensor, human rigid body parts will rotate. This will be a fun project. So far, I have successfully estimated the sensor orientation details based on the raw output coming out of BNO 055, such as accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. Applying sensor fusion, the estimated pitch, roll, and yaw were transmitted to Unreal via Wi-Fi, which were applied to a cube and have managed to view the real-time orientation in 3D space. If you have not watched the previous video, please check the description below. You can also visit to my Patreon site to read the complete paper and download the source code. Today I am going to apply the same orientation to human rigid body parts, so that on changing the orientation of the sensor, my 3D human's corresponding body part will respond same way in real time. Here are the steps I will follow to achieve the outcome. At first, I will create a 3D person player character in Unreal Engine. Then, changing the blueprint, I will target the received orientation data to corresponding body parts. Finally, I will adjust some of the body part specific offset details to make it more realistic. Mostly, I will work in Unreal Engine. So let's get into it. If you are new to this channel, please consider to give a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. To start with, let's understand what is player start in Unreal. For the blank project in Unreal, player is the camera, where all the controls are associated with it. Controls I mean go forward or go backward, move left or right, go upward or downwards and so on. Such input characteristics are associated with the keyboard buttons, such as in computer W key is to move forward. S is to move backward, D to move right, A to move left, and so on. With third-person player character, all such keyboard inputs are associated with the player. To add a third-person character, click on the Add in the Content Browser and then select Add Feature or Content Pack. Under Blueprint tab, select third-person and finally add to the project. On adding the third person in the project, by default, three folders get created. Mannequin, third person, and third person BP. We'll cover all the details of the internal folders in the later videos. Inside the third person BP folder, there are two subfolders called Blueprints and Maps. Blueprints is the folder of our interest at this moment. Inside the Blueprints folder, there are two classes are defined with this template third person character and third person game mode. Third person character is the class which I am going to access from the UDP controller. If I remember correctly, previously to access the static mesh from another blueprint class, I had to create a blueprint class of the static mesh and then I selected the cube to that class. Here the third person character class is already created for me. That means I will be accessing it to rotate the specific bone. Dragging this class to the viewport, I can see the character. The enclosure around the character is called Collider. Collider is the boundary of the character which is to detect any kind of collision with the character. By dragging more of this class on the floor, more characters are added. These characters are the instance of the same blueprint class. On playing the game, I see my character on the screen but the control is still with the camera or in the primary gameplay mode. To switch over the gameplay mode from the camera to the third person, go to the edit, project settings and then search for the mode. Change the default game mode to the third person game mode. Once that game mode is selected, then if I play it, then I could see my third person player character is now the primary player and I can control this character with my keyboard. Let's look at how this has been done. In the blueprint of the third person character under event graph, you could see there are some actions are defined. Those are basic actions like movement, jump and so on. And depending upon the gamepad, say computer, virtual reality, VR, touchpad, these actions are associated. Example W key to move forward, S to backward in the computer, D is to go right, A is to go left, spacebar is to jump and so on. All this key association for a specific control can be changed anytime. To change that, go to Project Settings, Engine, Input. 
and here we can bind all the actions input criteria based on the controller. On playing the game, you could see the primary control has been shifted from the camera to the third person character. On pressing the W key, my character is moving forward and pressing the space bar, character is jumping up. Now question is how such animations are built with the character. It means in jump animation, you can see the character hand position and bone rotation. Looks like these are something pre-recorded and played with the input. Such animations are kept in the mannequin animation folder of the content browser. Here you can see all the different types of animations are created. Let's look at jump start. On opening it, you can see jump start action. Most of these animations are created manually by bone rotation at every keyframes. Similarly, the jump loop and jump end animations are done. In the animation blueprint, all the three animations are stitched together. Here you can see with a variable called is in air, next action is selected, means next animation is selected. There are two rules have been configured, jump start to jump loop and jump loop to jump end. Such rules are controlled through a state machine in the event graph, where based on the movement, the flag is in air is set and based on the flag, corresponding animation is selected. More on this I will explore in the later episodes. In our case, the input will be coming from the sensor's orientation and movement will be as per the sensor directions and linear accelerations. So all this will not be relevant for me. Now to retarget the sensor's details to the human rigid body, here in my project, I have created a new level called sensor test underscore human along with a new blueprint called UDP controller underscore human. The UDP controller will access the human rigid body parts based on the sensor name and it will manipulate the rotational angles in terms of X, Y and Z or pitch, roll and yaw. In the mannequin folder under content browser character mesh we can find all the different skeletal mesh male or female. We can change the character type from male to female. Default character is male. To change the character go to the blueprint folders of third person blueprint open third person character from the left hand side tree hierarchy select the mesh which is the instance of the skeleton. Now in the properties look for skeletal mesh. Here from the drop down, we can select the mannequin mesh either male or female. Changing the skeletal mesh, the spawned character type will be changed but the properties related to the animation will be same. Now if I open the skeletal mesh of male mannequin, we can see all the bones are listed at the left hand side tree. We already have named our sensors. Those are lower arm underscore L and upper arm underscore L. Let's map the sensors one after another. After calibration of the sensor, the offset of the sensor and the exact position of the bone joint needs to be aligned at the beginning. And such alignment is done by T posing. Now if I position my sensor on both the upper arms, then the sensor's direction needs to be the same. On a flat surface, my sensor's pitch, roll and yaw values are 0, 0, 0 considering the sensor is facing north. First sensor, I am going to map it with upper arm. In the anim graph of the third person anim blueprint, the output pose is connected with a default state machine. Before changing anything, at first I have created two variables of rotator type called upper arm rotator underscore L and lower arm rotator underscore L. The gate function of the variables are positioned in the blueprint. The gate function will return the rotational angle which is coming from the sensor. The output of the variable is connected with transform modify bones rotational function. The reason of connecting to the rotation function as we are intended to change the bones rotation based on the sensor orientation. The rotation mode property of transform bone I have set to replace existing. Finally, the output compass pose of the transform bone is connected to the next one which is related to the lower arm and the last composed pose is connected to the output pose. Now it is time to update the variable of the rotator type from the sensor data. In the UDP controller blueprint, at first get the player character by calling the function called get player character. If in case we have multiple player character, then we can use the index to get the respective player character. Here I have chosen by default zero index. 
from the get player character get the anim instance which i have casted to third person anim blueprint event the third person anim blueprint node is an event so i have linked the execution with for each loop to apply the orientation on the specific bone i have added a switch case statement it is a kind of if else statement the input condition of the switch is the sensor name and based on the name i am setting the corresponding bone rotator variable that means if the sensor name is upper arm underscore l then i am updating upper arm rotator underscore l variable similarly if the sensor name is lower arm underscore l then i am updating lower arm rotator underscore l all other nodes in the code are already explained in the previous video when i mapped the sensor rotational angle to a cube that's all of the changes in unreal on playing the game i could see my player's left hand orientation is t pose which is correct as my sensor are stationary on a flat surface facing to the same direction changing the direction of the upper arm sensor is changing the character's hand directions similarly changing the direction of lower arm sensor player's lower arm is also changing i have tried some realistic actions like bicep curl or align the arm as same as natural hand movement all are working fine so far so far so good this means i have successfully retargeted sensor orientation on human rigid body and the results are amazing one more sensor for the hand will make one full hand completed and it is ready to be placed on the body yes my next target is to place the sensor on the body and try it out to do that at first i need to get rid of all these loosely coupled dangling cables that means i'm going to prepare my own cable most probably usb cable by keeping it modular or plug and play architecture will give an opportunity to replace the sensor if faulty i also need an enclosure for all the sensors so that this can be easily attached to the clothes in the next video i will demonstrate how to make own usb cable and connect the sensors with other sensors using usb plug i will also demonstrate how to use 3d printer to make the sensor enclosure still there are a lot more things to be done to complete the mockup suit i am getting lot of responses from you and it is really encouraging for me a big thank you to all of you If I successfully achieve the outcome I will give away a suit to all of my followers of course with just product cost not to profit some of the things might be easily or efficient way can be achieved those I might not be aware of if you could point out those tips and tricks or better way of doing it will be a great help on that note I'm finishing this video here I hope you like the progress and the strategy of the development Please stay tuned for such interesting topic and the solution. Till then, stay safe and take care. Thank you for watching.